And you know, like when you look at this now, it's a flat area. But before, it was full of life. And that's what people don't realize, you know? Like, stacks of houses upon houses were here. So we are now in a taxi and we're heading off to see uh, one of the locals and he's going to take us around the city. So yesterday when we arrived in Mosul it was very difficult to, to show you this which we didn't get to see yesterday. This is one of the mosques here called Saddam Hussein Mosque. It's been demolished. But anyways we're on our way to see one of the locals and uh, yeah we're going to explore the city. Yesterday was quite difficult because we had to go to that workshop. Uh, but yeah join us in this video we're going to go and try to see as much as we can of this amazing Mosul city. Uh, hello, again, you okay? Welcome. Okay. How are you? You okay? Hey guys. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. hi nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Hi. Bulgaria. Bulgaria? Oh, yeah. are you volunteering here? No, no, I'm more like you, a tourist. <laughs> oh, tourist is a lot. Right. Okay, 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 nice. Uh, this place, one of the, the oldest uh, places uh, in Mosul, uh, Beit al Talib, al Talib house. And uh, this building is to, uh, to gather uh, volunteers uh, from uh, uh, the youngest people and uh, um, including guys and uh, girls uh, to, to make or to doing volunteer works uh, to help poor people and to support the educational uh, establishments and uh, many, many uh, governments uh, or governmental uh, establishments. So we're on our way to the top of the building. As you can see, this building is 150 years old. No railings here. Yes. <laughs> wow, amazing. What's that over there that's being built? This? Yeah, this. Is this uh, construction yeah. or? Uh, this is um, a bit of the uh, football. Oh, okay. it was yeah. damaged. Football matches, yeah, football matches. Uh, damaged by oh, the ISIS. By the ISIS and the affected effects of of the uh, the war against ISIS. Mm. Right, everybody. I'm with uh, Mission. Mission. Mission here, mm. and he's from Bulgaria. Bulgaria, yeah. Bulgaria, and he's been to. So, how many countries have you? Uh, it's well, with Iraq, it becomes my 55th country. So, yeah. um, what's one like kind of great piece of? advice or nugget of wisdom that you can give people from traveling to 55 countries thing and maybe the best advice i can give people is like no matter where you go do just a little research about yeah. mostly the culture of the country you're visiting yeah because at the end of the day it's all about respect respecting the culture respecting the people knowing the traditions and being nice i mean and that has always worked for me even in the most crazy countries that i've ever been so now we're heading towards the bashtabia castle so we're currently at a castle called Bashtabiya Castle and uh, basically this is a very old castle and it was actually used for protection purposes to protect the old city. Qal'at al-Mosul or Qal'at Bashtabiya. It's called Mosul Castle or Bashtabiya Castle. Yani عمرها تقريبا 800 إلى 900 سنة. It's almost between um, 800 to 900 years old. يعني ماكو عدة آراء في تاريخ بنائها لكن هي uh, من الشواهد التاريخية المتبقية لمدينة الموصل. There are many opinions as to why um, it was built, mm -hmm. but it's of course one of the most well-known um, monuments in Mosul. Well, this historical place. So, you, but your charity tries to um, clean this area. Yes, every week or are, every day sometimes. Yeah. Are these guys with you? Walikum salam. Are these guys with your charity? These guys cleaning now or? They're not. Uh, no, 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 not these oh, guys. Okay, so you have uh, your own we, people. Yeah, the team of heritage of Mosul cleaned this place. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Mishan has got some uh, bread, and he went because he was quite hungry. But also, I hungry. how much did you pay for it? I didn't buy anything. Like it's very popular here, <laughs> I guess. To get stuff for free. Oh, this is the minaret. Oh, this is the minaret. Okay, the minaret. Wow. So, this is where, what's his name again? Uh, um, the, the, the leader? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi gave his first speech. Am I right in saying it's like a first speech he gave? 
yeah, to where he announced the, 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 the caliphate, basically. The caliph, the uh, ISIS caliphate. So that's the minaret over there. Uh, and that's the dome of the mosque over there. So you might be able to get a better view to climb on there. But these are all the houses surrounding the area that was bombed. And the UNESCO are actually working here to rebuild all the houses. That's how the mosque looks like inside. And that minaret over there is actually slightly bent. It's kind of slightly leaning, but so you can see half of it has been knocked down. And uh, they're trying to rebuild it exactly the way it was before. Something we're not used to. Mm. So these guys are working on developing. Yeah, yeah. All these guys are working in construction, houses. working on houses here. So we're at a restaurant right now called what is this called? E1. 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 Kibbi. And what is uh, what are they? Both uh, different types of. Uh, they are very similar. Both oh, okay. are like stuffed with meats. Oh, okay, because so we're gonna go. It's gonna be very heavy. Let's so go, let's, let's go for it. <laughs> let's go for it. We can go out. Yeah. It's a... All right. And you record for the oh, for, 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 for uh, outside. Outside as well. So check this out here. So they're making that kubba thing here. And this is the Assalamu alaikum. So this is the bread. Kubba. Kubba. So you can see these are the breads here. It's uh, made over there with this certain dough or flour, I'm not sure. And then it's kind of like uh, flattened here. And then I think they put the, the, that's the meat inside here, which they put in between these breads, and then they just put it inside an oven, oven. Tanur, tanur. Tanur Allah Akbar. La, 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 la. Tanur. So, 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 so they take these. Oh, fill ma, fill ma, fill ma. They put it in water here. Shukran, shukran. And then if you have a look at this here, oh, this is Allah. Oh, so it ends up like this. Fill, fill, fill. After this, this. No, no. Oh, this is kubbi. Kubbi. Oh, 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 kubbi. Oh,
but we, we prefer not to take um, oh, okay. a long time here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, is it okay if we take? It's okay. Yeah. Because sometimes, um, like soldiers come. Yeah. So now we are um, in the old city of Mosul, where um, Al Safi Mosque is, um, which is the oldest uh, mosque in Mosul. Um, it's been um, mainly destroyed, but the marble and the interior is still like the way it is. So yeah, um, as you can probably hear, it's very quiet here because there isn't a lot of people back to this area because almost 95% of this entire old town is completely destroyed, um, which is why it's very quiet, unfortunately. Did you live here as well yourself? I lived on the other part of the, the city, but of course I had friends we were liberated before this part, so we were seeing on TV the things that were um, taking place here. But you were not allowed to come to this part? Yeah. No, at, no, at the beginning there were explosive devices, there were ISIS dead bodies, there were civilian dead bodies, and from like a kilometer away you could actually smell um, the dead bodies. It was like disgusting to come back here, like you would go in and you see a hand um, thrown thrown away. You see like a, a leg or something. It was disgusting, actually. Can you remember when uh, even Ayub? Can you remember when people used to come here and pray Juma and stuff like that? Of course, I do. So we are currently right now in the old city, as uh, the brother explained before. And behind me here is one of the houses. Is that is that one of the houses here? Yep, yeah. it's a house. It's this a house. was a house before. And um, as you can see, this is just a very small glimpse. Um, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Uh, it's, the place speaks for itself, to be honest. Uh, it's, uh, it's not. It's kind of a very uh, emotional experience to be here, to have a look around, to see what what I've been told, what the stories I've been hearing as well associated with these places is kind of shocking. But as you can see here, there's this is just like a very small glimpse into what this area is all about. <clears throat> There's nobody really living here at the moment. A lot of people have evacuated, but there's uh, plenty of rubble and, you know, and uh, destroyed buildings everywhere. And you know, like when you look at this now, it's a flat area, but before it was full of life. That's what people don't realize, you know, like stacks of houses upon houses were here. Most of the houses tended to be very small in structure and the, the streets were very narrow as well. So it was a heavily populated area. So now when you see this quiet and compare between the past and now, you'll be like, oh my God, like how many people died here? Yeah, yeah absolutely. What happened here? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's, you know, wars always destroy. Now you see what's happening in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Um, war brings nothing good. Like, what do you imagine when, when, when war is there? Like, what would happen, you know? We should talk about what matters most, which is us, mm -hmm. the victims. Mm -hmm. Like, war happened, ISIS came, ISIS left, governments fight over lands, territories. But who is the victim? It's the people. Of course. It's always us who suffer. And we suffer over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Ends here and a hundred meters away you see the market and life is going on a lot of people and then you look back and you're like oh wait this is empty and this is full of life like it's just too much to, to, to digest to be honest so there are people still like living here as well at the same time only a like few here. people came back like the family another family um there are probably like 10 or 20 families. What happened to all the people that live here? Um, you can... I mean, obviously don't know everything, uh, yeah. but like... No, no, like, what do you expect? Rubble yeah. like this, like, you expect people like to, to make it out alive? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing like even some people who escape, you know, the bombings and stuff, when they get back, they have nothing to get back to, right? Yep, yep. So where did they end up living? They just uh, took over other parts of the city or...? And that's why now when you go to the eastern side of Mosul, you see more life. Um, it's become like the center of the city because a lot okay. of people are there now and never, they never came back, okay. you know? 
because so they prefer to just stay there now then there's no point coming back here obviously now. there's no point which is why now that side is a preferred even houses are way more more expensive to buy there than here than here so yeah this is this is it and even now if you go into houses you will see remains like blankets like dishes teapots oh my god um, that used oh to god. belong to the families that were living here oh my god and usually in these areas um there are basements because these houses were old and all old, old houses always had basements okay so that people can go in in times of crisis but this was a negative like like this here yes like this one exactly Oh my God. But this was disadvantage because a lot of people were killed inside their basements. They were trapped and they weren't able to leave. Because of all the rubble. Exactly. So, oh my God. So like the, what they wanted, the complete opposite happened. Yep, yep, yep. Are the people that were stuck down there that still didn't manage to get out that are maybe still down there? Probably, um, probably yeah. Probably. Um, the civil defense pulled out a lot of dead bodies. But most of the bodies now are like decomposed because yeah. it's been like five years, like five, six years. Yep, yep, of course. Yeah, they'll be gone now. But absolutely, there must be people. Not here, somewhere else. So there are still locals walking around and getting on with their lives, etc. Yep, yeah, yeah. Can you see how quiet it is when I told you? I think you were right about any. It's it's weirdly peaceful. I I I know that sounds that's a weird word it to use. It. Yeah, it's like a place to come and reflect and think. So, see, um, oh a while ago I came here with a photographer. It was like a week ago. She's an art uh, photographer, so she took this stuff and put flowers on them and took photos. Oh my god! Um, that's to amazing. show the the contrast between the two worlds, you know. So um, we left them here and just left. We took them actually from there. Oh, they were more inside, but it's more yeah, it's yeah. out now for like display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go down there, you will see a lot more. You know why? Why is it? Because here, when two people get married, oh, the gifts okay. they get for their marriage are usually blankets. Oh, okay. And this is stuff. And usually people keep this stuff until they die or like they give them to their like children oh, okay. when they get married so and this is how they ended up so these here are um utensils here and the reason why they're here is because we've been told that um when couples get married they were gifted a lot of these kind of things and so they keep it till they die and you know it's they're still here there's so many i heard is um a friend of mine they used to live here um, there were um, Yazidi girls okay. uh, being imprisoned by ISIS, but they were able to flee and they knocked on the door of my friend's house. They took them in and kept them with them um, throughout the entire occup occupation. And then after Mosul was liberated, they sent them back to their Yazidi families. Amazing. Which is great. So they like kind of preserved them in that time. Yep, yep. And I'm sure that's just one story from many. Of people of course but keeping. that's what, what people don't know we um, don't we don't you know these stories that you tell me we don't hear about them in the uk like at all we've got no source literally you know, in this world of internet with too much information it's very difficult to find these little details yes about the city of mosul in iraq in this big world you know yes, absolutely. it's not easy and when i was telling you about the the world and the, the controversy that's the world over there you go there and you see the life then you turn back here and you so you see how quiet this place is and destroyed i i honestly want to say just like thank you so much for bringing us yes, here because course, at course. the end of the day i i know it's really hard for you to talk about but i love your smile i love <laughs> i love your positivity it's, it's just I mean, so thank you so so much, for um, so yeah, much. Yeah. honestly of course, just, of course um sometimes it's hard man my I mean, smile puts me in bad situations like i see something bad and i smile but this is just who i am 
Uh, I think that's a good way to get But sometimes you see something, but deep inside there's something else that yes. people are not aware of. You know what I'm saying? But, but you're doing very well by keeping it together for us. <laughs> uh, we really appreciate it. I that, mean, you have to keep it together to move on, not of only course. for you. Of course. I, because I, I, the longer you look to the past, the more attached you are and the more you're unable to move on. So you have to put everything behind and just move on. We live in the, the year of 2022, so we have to move on. We'll look Time is moving future. fast. I'm already 25 years old. I have lost a lot of years in my life. So now it's time to be productive, Grow. do something nice, um, hopefully, you know, build up a future. Man, it looks like you're already on your way there, man. Honestly, like you are, you're doing really well. Like even like Thank yesterday, you, Thank you, you know, so I just want to, I, I think you guys have watched it, but even yesterday we went to a hackathon and he was involved in a project and these guys are so creative. Like I haven't seen <laughs> that creativity in a long time. Thank so you. it's so inspiring. So honestly, Thank really, you. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Thank you. So we're going to leave the old city of Mosul now and head off somewhere else.